ABC 22 News at 11. Thanks for being here tonight. I'm Lauren Maloney. Following the floods, the Great Brook is an offshoot of the Winooski River. It's washed away roads, bridges and homes in Plainfield now two summers in a row. So how should the town address its roads after these storms? ABC 22's Mike Hoey joins us now live in the studio with more. Mike. Well, Lauren, at a special town select board meeting tonight, a Norwich University geologist said, quote, Great Brook is not a particularly large watershed, but it's a very powerful stream. It was one of the most striking scenes anywhere in Vermont from this year's July 11th flooding. The Great Brook carved open a Plainfield apartment building known locally as the Heartbreak Hotel. Right next to it, the Mill Street Bridge washed away. I'm sure that shocked a lot of us. That the bridge that had been there stood since about 1929. Its predecessor went out in the 27 flood. A select board member may have had that damage on his mind Thursday night as he introduced local experts who offered the town a scientific perspective. There's a lot of heartbreak in this town and, and people are going to make some tough decisions. Uh, but we feel as uh, that we have to move on. And so we're trying to get information into everybody's hands. Joseph Carter has lived on the same road in Plainfield since 1972. He says the July 11th flooding was the worst he's seen on his road in all those years. What is the impact of the current situation and projected future situation on the stability of Recreation Field Road? And is there a plan to make it a permanent road again? In order for us to uh, make a plan and uh, dis make decisions regarding what gets opened and what gets fixed permanently, we have to know roughly how much money is coming in. Uh, FEMA has not made a declaration yet. Lauren Select Board member Carl Bissix was one of the people we heard from in this story. He also noted tonight, quote, when we have another meeting that's going to maybe focus more on solutions and decisions, you'll have more information to work with. Live in the studio, Mike Hoey, ABC 22 News. And Mike, the Vermont Community Foundation says it's given out half a million dollars.